Note-taking is an essential part of a university student's success. Remember in high school when teachers would have printouts and textbooks prepared for you on the first day back in school? In university, you are in charge of your own learning. This includes printing your own learning materials, purchasing your own textbooks, and most importantly, taking your own notes. So why is note-taking so important in university? Actively taking notes in class is a huge part of academic success in university. Firstly, note-taking helps you comprehend and retain material when you're in class. Actively taking notes in class ensures you are staying concentrated through the entire lecture. Secondly, note-taking also plays a crucial role in exam preparation when you're outside of class. Good quality notes can save you time and energy from having to reorganize your term long notes. So, when exam season comes around, you're fully equipped with all the resources needed to prepare. At first glance, this may look easy, but believe it or not, there are lots of factors that can affect your ability to take good quality notes. But hopefully, with this video, we can help relieve some of that stress by showing you what it takes to be an excellent note taker. Some of the most important core concepts to remember about note taking can be summarized using the acronym LIST. That's L I S T. L is to lead, which means to come prepared to class having read all the upcoming lecture materials and printing out the lecture slides if provided. I is to seize upon main ideas taught in class instead of writing everything down. Jot down only the most important points of information. S is to summarize. Summarize the most important pieces of information and significant ideas in your own words within 24 hours of having your lecture. T is for talk. Talk to your professor, TA, or even classmates to clarify any questions or ideas that may have come up with you during the lecture. Now that you understand the most core concepts of being a good note taker, here are four note taking methods that you can use with your own practice. The Cornell note taking method was a technique developed by a professor at Cornell University. The purpose of this method is to provide students with a way of condensing and organizing notes without having to copy professors' notes word for word. The paper is divided into three sections. The Q column is for your questions, comments, and keywords that come up during the lecture. Cues are made to help prompt key concepts from the lecture. This will help you during your exam preparation. The notes column is for all the notes you take in class. The summary section is a brief paragraph highlighting the lecture. Remember to write this in your own words. This encourages self-reflection. Most students use this next method without knowing that there's a name to it. In the outlining method, start with noting a major point, theme, or section on the left side of the page. Indent to write notes about minor and supporting points underneath the major point. Label your indented points by using numbers or bullet points. The outlining method is best used for classes that require highly structured and logical notes. The next method is the mapping method. Remember the hundreds of mind maps your teachers made you draw in middle school? Well, that's because they knew just how helpful they'd be in your future. The mapping method can maximize active participation and emphasizes on critical thinking. It makes you focus on key points rather than writing everything you hear. The mapping method is done by linking several subpoints around a major topic. To begin critical thinking, you should then begin to find links between different points or topics. This last method is called the charting method. It is most useful if your lesson structure is chronological, so it may require a bit of planning ahead by checking your syllabus before class. For this method, determine the categories covered in the lecture and set up your notes in advance with headings to support the material. The headings will depend on the course you are taking. If, for example, you're taking History of Canada, your headings may look like Period. 
important people, events, significance. So now, what should you do with all these notes you have lying around? Use them, but use them properly. When using your notes to study, don't just read them. A study done by the National Training Laboratories for Applied Behavioral Science has shown that by reading, you will only retain about 10% of the information. The study produced a learning pyramid to show how students will be able to learn the most efficiently. From this, we can see that simply listening to a lecture will only help you retain 5% and reading only 10% of the material, while actually teaching others will retain 90% of that information. So, what can you do with these notes? Grab someone, anyone, preferably someone you know, and teach them what you've learned. Or, set yourself up in exam-like conditions, throw away those phones and laptops, sit down, and time yourself while writing a past exam paper after reviewing your notes. This video is one of many student toolkits created by the Chapman Learning Commons at the University of British Columbia. To learn more about the ways to excel at university, take a look through the Learning Commons website at learningcommons.ubc.ca or come visit our Chapman Learning Commons help desk on the third floor of the Irving K. Barber Learning Center.